Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of MedHead. Long time, no see, I have been gone for a while. I won't be sharing the reason for my absence due to privacy issues, but on my Instagram page, if you are watching this video on the release date, I will have on my story a uh, question, ask area. So you can ask me what I've been up to, my favorite food, favorite color, or whatever you wanna know. So if you wanna head over to my Instagram page at med underscore head underscore, I'll see you guys there. Other than that, I did wake up this morning and got a few Anki cards done I uh, got a few things out of the way I just wrote a reflective essay due for an implicit bias meeting I do have in 10 minutes but as this video goes on and as the next videos come out you guys will kind of get a better gist of like where I've been and what I've been up to and hopefully you forgive me for my absence because life called and I had to get a couple things settled first but the meeting does start in 10 minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and grab a package real fast and then I will see you guys then All right guys, so I just finished the implicit module lecture or meeting and it went pretty well. And we just basically discussed what implicit bias is, the ways to mitigate that, whether that's on a individual basis or a more system-based or workplace-based basis. Other than that, I did forget to mention that I am in the reproductive module, as you can tell by the title of this video. While I was gone, we did GI, neuro, psychiatry, and endocrine. And now we're in the repro module, we're in the second week, I'm enjoying it. As much as I'm not really interested in repro, I'm actually pretty much enjoying this module. Test week will come up in February 2nd, then we have musculoskeletal and derm module, and then step one is here already. So we are moving fast, end of MS2 is approaching quickly, and I will take you guys through it with me. I did pick my packages and it's just a bunch of like plant and desk stuff. So my mouse pad went missing. So I got like this like desk pad thing for mouses and I'm just gonna put it there. So you guys are looks like once I place it. And then I bought a bunch of things for plants. I do have this plant obsession that I have acquired over the past few months. Still learning, but I've learned a lot already. If you guys aren't really interested in plants, I'll try to keep it at a minimum, but let me know if you wanna see more and learn more about my plants because it's honestly a hobby and something that I kind of do to do something other than med school every day. So I got like a little like, I don't know, a little repotting kit set, kind of just for like repotting the soil and all that, and a repotting mat so I can't get soil everywhere. So all this stuff is basically for repotting and fine-tuning care of the plants. This is systemic granules because my alocasia had a spider mite infection the other day. So I'm gonna go around and treat all the other plants that was around. I did spray her down with neem oil the other day, but this is just a preventative measure to avoid pests. This is a propagation hormone liquid kind of fertilizer thingy thing. I am propagating a few plants, though it's winter and it's not really getting any roots. So I decided to try to get some liquid hormone for some other propagations or to try to get those to start budding. So that's my plant stuff for right now. I do have other things I want to do. Like I got a shelf that I need to put together and just a whole bunch of like home stuff I need to get done today in between studying. But speaking of studying, it is 3 p.m. and it is getting really late. I still have Anki to do. So let's get into that. I will show you guys my schedule and we'll get started. So this is the new desk setup. I really like it. It's like a, a mouse pad that's just like extended pretty much. <laughs> And for the rest of the schedule today, what's today? Today is January. So if you're wondering what these sticky pads are actually, these are basically just like different systems I am going over with on Aki, our old friend. And if there's a topic that I'm like, I really need to review that, I just take quick note of it. And then usually throughout the week, I review that a little bit more in depth than Aki. But for today's schedule, we have Anki, maternal fetal disorders, B&B. &B. We have some more. I did want to go over um, hip over a while, or hematology and introduction to pathology of our school closet, so like hemonc as a review for step one, hypertension and pregnancy, some more placental complication videos, and then I also want to work on some YouTube, Amazon stuff, as in the stuff I just showed you on Amazon, just uh, dealing with it, putting it away, uh, situating it, and then 20 world questions, so... The day is still semi-young. I mean, I would say it's like maybe a teenager at this point. It's about 4 p.m. since the last time I talked to you and I've been just kind of lollygagging, so I really need to get that Anki done. So I will sit down right now and I'm not gonna get up until I have at least 300 cards done, take a break and get right back at it.
All right guys, so I'm on one of my study breaks and I decided to finally finish taking down the rest of my Christmas decorations. It is currently January 10th and they are still not down, which hey, I'm not opposed to. Some people leave it up till like March. Um, but for me, taking down Christmas decorations kind of represents like the start of a new year and it still kind of feels like last year because they're still up. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the rest down. I have the tree right in front of me. I have, if you can see up there, then the arch. Everything else is done. I was just procrastinating with the tree because that would take the longest. So let's get that done because I do have to put a bookshelf or build a bookshelf tomorrow and put it in that spot. And hopefully the place will come a little bit more together as soon as I stop procrastinating. But we're gonna do this during a study break. So I might not get the whole tree done, but we're going to try to. Before I go quickly back to studying, I wanted to show you guys a uh, meal prep I did yesterday. Um, yesterday means Sunday. And I made about four meals of this butternut like squash meatball Italian marinara. It looks better when it's hot. <laughs> I'll put it in the microwave and show you what it looks like. But yeah, it's like an Italian sausage. Well, technically not Italian sausage because this is turkey right here. But uh, I swear it might look bad, but... <laughs> It tastes better than it looks. And now it's time to watch the Maternal Fetal Disorders Boards and Beyond video. All right, guys, it is 2.46. I am leaving the last coffee shop I was in. Got a good amount of studying done. And I did take some time to do a lot of tweaking to my step one study schedule because we had a little step one study meeting. And it made me start thinking about better ways to optimize my study schedule. So I went ahead and did that. It might be done permanently now, uh, locked in. Step one is gonna be taken April 1st for me, so it is very near. But I did wanna do a change of scenery because I've been at that shop since eight, so I'm gonna go to a different coffee shop right now. It is around three o'clock. All right, guys, it is Wednesday, as you've seen. I have not really done a lot of talking just because I've been seriously just sitting at that desk forever today, just doing nothing really exciting. I mean, nothing other than what you guys know I normally do Anki and lectures, but other than the studying you guys always see me normally do, I'm going to be putting together my bookshelf, which I'm super excited about because I have just like a blank space here. It's a pretty big blank space and I don't have anywhere to really put my books or anything like that. They just kind of sit piled on my desk. So I put that there with um, hopefully some plants there maybe. I also may work out if I have time. I don't see myself having time right now. Hopefully tomorrow I will be able to. But enough talking, let's get started with that bookshelf.
Hey guys, it is Friday and yesterday I don't think I talked to you guys because I was just booking it, trying to get a lot of work done, but you did see me uh, eventually go to the coffee shop again and the other day I promised I would show you my bookshelf and I forgot to do that, so I'm gonna show you now. So, don't mind the emptiness. Uh, my books are not on it because I'm studying right now and they're off of it, um, but this is the bookshelf. I have a little like humidifier here and um, some of my plants. And speaking of my plants, I guess this is a good time to just show you guys the ones I have. I'm actually going to the plant shop in a few minutes just to go search. I'm not necessarily dedicated to buying anything, but if I see something I'm like, I might buy it. But uh, here are the ones I have right now. So this was given to me. It's a propagation from a friend. Um, shout out to Jessica. <laughs> and this is a Philodendron Brazilians. This is a Silver Satin Pothos, a Black Magic Allocation, Trusty Dusty Snake Plant. This is another Pothos here, but this is a Golden Pothos. Same with that up there. It's another Golden Pothos. This right here is an, uh, a Mykens. I'm pretty sure it's a philodendron mycans. And here is my propagation station. You can see like a few roots coming out. And here is my ZZ plant. If you guys want to know how small she originally was, I will put the video up at the top. Enjoy pathos. One of my favorites. This is a Monstera Peru. Here's a Calithia that is the bane of my existence. The pronunciation is kind of hard for me to do, so I'm not even going to try, but she's propagating. This is a Swiss cheese plant. And then these two guys back here are rubber plants. And last but not least is my Maranta. So I finished a whole day of studying and I also started reading the best I had on my Instagram um, because I hadn't been on it for so long, but you guys are amazing. Uh, some of the kindest people, really uplifting comments and may or may not have gotten teary-eyed reading through them. I'm really grateful for you guys and this community that hasn't left and it just speaks to how amazing you guys that you still were kind of messaging me and checking in on the channel even when I wasn't posting. So, so just a really big thank you to you guys, but I have been studying all day and I'm gonna go and plant shop as a reward. So let's go get that done. Hey guys, so I'm back from the plant shop. I went ahead and got finished and changed into a new shirt. But thank you guys so much again for joining me on this journey. I am super blessed to have you guys and there are going to be ups and downs, but hopefully now I can be a little bit more consistent. I did get a couple new plants and I will show you guys those plants in the end clips of this video. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and follow me at Instagram at med underscore head underscore. And I will see all of you on the very next Madhead.